Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my empties from the month of May. I cannot believe we're already in June, you guys. It feels like this year is flowing by so quickly, but I have an overflowing basket of products. So I have so much to share with you guys and some exciting body care empties too. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So I'll just start with body care. And first I have a hand soap in Paradise Coconut, which I actually finished on the last day of the month, which is pretty funny. Um, the notes are juicy pineapple, sugar cane, and coconut milk. I did not realize that there was pineapple in this because to me it definitely just smells like coconut, but this was awesome and I would totally get this again. I've got a shower gel here in whipped vanilla chiffon. This is one of my favorite scents for the springtime, so I had this in the spring project and finally finished it. The notes are wild vanilla bean, sponge sugar, and white peach blossom. Just a really nice, um, mostly vanilla scent with like a slight floral fruity note to it. So it was perfect for spring. Then I've got a full size lotion also for my spring project. This is strawberry pound cake. Absolutely adored her. She was perfect for spring. I think I'm gonna pick another one up at the semi-annual sale because I think I'm gonna really like this again in the fall time. The notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream, just a wonderful scent. And then super exciting, I finished off a full size fine fragrance mist, which for me, is very monumental. This is the first one I've used up all year. Last year, I only used up one, so we're already on track to use up um, a few this year, probably close to four maybe, more than that possibly. So we have champagne toast here that I finished up. This is my spring project. You can see my progress lines if you're interested in that. But yeah, I love champagne toast. I never got sick of this scent. It was so nice, fresh and fruity, so I really loved it. And then I have Midnight Amber Glow here in the Glowing Body Scrub. Loved this. Midnight Amber Glow is one of my favorite scents. It's Smooth Amber, Caramel Latte, and Vanilla Bourbon. Seriously, one of my absolute favorites, and I definitely would get this again. I also finished off another body scrub from Tree Hut. This is the Vanilla Shea Sugar Scrub. Um, not my favorite, honestly. I think Tree Hut's um, formula is really good, but this scent was like not the best to me. It was not vanilla. It was more like a cashmere. So disappointed in the scent, um, but I, I still like their formula. Let me know what your favorite um, tree head scrub is for the summer because I'm thinking I might pick up one just for summertime. And then I have one last hand soap. This is Sunshine and Lemons. We usually use a lemony soap at the sink um, in the kitchen. This is Yuzu Grapefruit and Sun Rays. Just like a really nice bright and bubbly scent for the kitchen. Okay, moving on to candles. I finished off Santorini Coast. This one was amazing to get me into the summer mood. It burned so well. This was an amazing scent. Like I'm gonna have to pick maybe one or two up at semi-annual sale. It's creamy coconut, almond blossom, and warm vanilla. Actually, by the time that this video is up, my first SAS haul is probably already gonna be out. So check that out because I might've already picked up another one of these. But anyways, that's this one. Also finished a PB&J ice cream. I liked this one, but it wasn't amazing to me, honestly. It started to get kind of murky. It was a good jelly scent. I didn't get any PB&J, and I, I mean, I didn't get any peanut butter, and I didn't get any ice cream. It just smelled like jelly to me. It wasn't my favorite. I know a lot of people love it, but to me, it was just all right. This is raspberry jelly, vanilla ice cream, and peanut butter sauce. And then I finished up one of my all-time favorites, which I'm so sad this is the last one that I own. It's Cinnamon Spice Vanilla in Paris Cafe. One of my favorites. I love coffee scents in my office in the mornings. It just like wakes me up, rejuvenates me, makes me ready for the day of work. It's rich roasted coffee, vanilla creme, ground cinnamon, and sugar crystals. Loved this one. The last full size three wick that I finished up is from Goose Creek. This is Goosebumps Cupcake. This was a like dark chocolate raspberry scented cupcake, I think was this scent. But yeah, it's from <laughs> Halloween, as you can tell by the packaging. But I thought it would actually be perfect for spring, and it was good. Um, this one got really murky and um, kind of grody smelling after maybe the halfway point. I don't know, Goose Creek for me is like hit or miss. Um, I didn't really love this one. It was okay. I would definitely not purchase it again though. And then I do have one single wick. This is Mahogany Apple from Bath & Body Works. Loved this one. The notes are red mahogany woods, golden delicious apple, pink peppercorn, and fresh lavender sprigs. I didn't know there was lavender in this, but it's just such a good scent. This is honestly like a nice masculine scent. 
I liked to burn this um, in the office when Ryan was there because I feel like it was like a nice vibe setter and it's just like a really good um, clean fresh air scent. Oh I did miss this Vanilla Bean Noel hand cream that I finished. I could honestly use Vanilla Bean Noel all year round. It's one of my favorite scents and this hand cream was really really good so I'll probably be looking out for some more Vanilla Bean Noel at semi-annual sale but I really like this one. And then I finished off a Wallflower Fragrance Refill in Leaves. This was like the only fresh air scent that I had left over. Um, so we use this in Ryan's bathroom. And then I also finished off the last of my duo in Honey Crisp Apple. This one was really nice too. It was nice and fruity, um, really adored it. It's Golden Honey Crisp, Apple Blossom, and Fresh Sugar Cane. Just like a nice fresh and fruity scent. So I really liked it. And then I only got through one wax bar this month and that's pomegranate prosecco. I really liked this one. It was like a nice bubbly fruity scent. So really, really enjoyed it. I don't think I'd pick it up again. It wasn't anything special, but I really liked it. I've got some hair care items here. This is the Oblifica Seaberry Hair Serum. I got this as like a mini a few years ago from Ulta. I liked it, I enjoyed it nothing special. I also finished off a whey hair oil. I've been using hair oil a lot lately, um, just finding that it's really helping my hair be slick, smooth, and just really shiny. Um, I really liked this one. Probably not going to pick up a full size because it's really expensive, but I would not like mind getting it again. It, would, it was really good. And then I also finished off a Love Beauty and Planet sulfate-free shampoo scrub. They have discontinued this, but this is my favorite scalp item for a dry itchy scalp, so I've already got like five backups of it. <laughs> I did forget this um, Scentsy body cream and make a splash. I got a little sample from my consultant, Ashley, on um, YouTube. We actually met on YouTube and we are friends. So she sent me a little sample and I did like this one. Um, make a splash was like nice and fresh. And you know what? I think I'm gonna clean out this jar and keep this for like traveling purposes. I finished off at Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. This is SPF 36. I really like this one. Um, it's a little thicker though, so I would probably not use this in the summer, um, only in like the winter or the spring, because it's pretty heavy. I have finished off an e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, you guys. Look how cool this looks when you finish it. Like, doesn't that just look so satisfying? Oh my God. You know what? I should clean this one out too and use this as a travel size item. But I hope this is less than three ounces. I'm sure it is. Oh, it's four ounces. Okay, so I just... Mm, so I guess I can't keep it. There's that, but anyways, this was really good. I also finished a Mary Kay oil-free eye makeup remover. I love this stuff. Um, used it for years and years and years. It always gets off everything. Um, waterproof makeup, liquid lipstick, like it's so good. And then I did actually declutter these two brown eyeliners. So this is CoverGirl Exhibitionist Liquid Liner in, doesn't say the color, a rich brown. Um, this one just dried out. And then I have this one from Glamnetic. Glamnetic X Hello Kitty and Friends. Magnetic Felt Tip Liner Pen in Brown. This one I did not realize is for magnetic lashes. It's also a very harsh tip that like hurts when I put it on. So I decluttered these two because I actually got a Fenty eyeliner pen that is a liquid liner in brown and I love it. It's what I'm wearing today. So I just went ahead and decluttered these two. And that is it for my empties for the month of May. Got through a lot of stuff. Five candles two body scrubs, a lotion, a shower gel, two hand soaps. Like I did really good this month. So very happy about that. But that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.